and that was actually a reflection of reality. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were, there, were, there were so many, you know, in the same way that the civil rights issues from the 1960s, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, uh, religious people, priests and, and uh, Catholic nuns and Christians who felt it was the right thing to do. There was also a lot of gay people who were, uh, played prominent roles in civil rights, even though they were closeted, but I know that it had to do with their connection to the idea of their own oppression, which then by the 70s started to, everyone started to come out. And there, there was no different in the uh, Chicano power movement. A lot of the uh, Chicano artists were gay, you know, but, but people didn't feature it necessarily or they were closeted. Uh, members of Mecha, the Brown Berets, uh, the student groups, you know, there were gay and bisexual and lesbian uh, participants, but they were sort of on the down low or, or um, you know, in the closet. And I was all about wanting to kind of blow that up and, uh, and uh, make sure that, that, you know, our presence was uh, documented and uh, maybe even exploited and uh, and I also had an element of wanting to be in your face, uh, and uh, and I think I think it worked.